the nintendo switch just got some major news that might have a ripple effect for the future of games on the platform now this news could be either one of two things it could be really bad and a terrible anti-consumer move or it could be an absolute game changer for current switch owners so this news is actually coming from the microsoft acquisition of bethesda and to be completely honest it's kind of shocking to me that not many people are covering this story because like i said it could have a potential ripple effect for games on the nintendo switch platform so first and foremost let me read you guys a quote that came from xbox's phil spencer when asked about games from bethesda being exclusive to the xbox platform he said and i quote obviously i can't sit here and say that every bethesda game is an xbox exclusive because we know that's not true he explained there's contractual obligations that we're going to see through we have games that exist on other platforms and we're going to go support those games on other platforms they're on there's communities of players we love those communities and we will continue to invest in them and even in the future there might be either contractual things or legacy on different platforms that we'll go do and then he said this part which is kind of a big one but if you're an xbox customer spencer continued the thing i want you to know is this is about delivering great exclusive games for you to ship on platforms where game pass exists and that's our goal and that's why we're doing this that's the root of this partnership that we're building and the creative capability we'll be able to bring to market for xbox customers is going to be the best it's ever been for xbox after we're done here so before we dissect this statement you're probably asking yourself what does this have to do with the nintendo switch platform this basically means the nintendo will likely have to make a decision on whether or not they want bethesda games on their platform because according to phil spencer they're only going to ship these exclusive games on platforms where game pass exists and as you guys know there's two prominent platforms where game pass doesn't exist those being the nintendo switch as well as the playstation platform as you guys know and probably are currently owners of bethesda games on the nintendo switch this does have a ripple effect on you guys for the future of potential games you're able to buy on the nintendo switch phil spencer is giving people a choice on whether or not to have bethesda games or not and nintendo will have to come to a decision pretty soon i would imagine to either say yes and allow game pass on the switch platform or be like sony and potentially say no one of the biggest issues that nintendo switch currently faces is the lack of third-party games and with the addition of game pass that could open up a whole new genre of games that we would potentially never see before without the capability of xbox game pass as much as i think nintendo would probably say no to this five years ago i think nowadays nintendo would gladly say yes especially with how strong their partnership is compared to sony and microsoft with the nintendo switch platform it seems like xbox and nintendo have kind of coexisted and they've been a lot more friendly to collaborations whenever you compare it to sony and microsoft so as much as this could be bad news if nintendo decides to say no about game pass it could also be really good news because nintendo could say yes to game pass on the platform and open up a whole new world for games on the nintendo switch platform i'm talking halo and gears of war on the nintendo switch and with the nintendo switch pro potentially releasing this year it would be a perfect time for them to release a game pass on the switch it's obvious that games on xbox are a lot more graphically intensive whenever you compare it to the nintendo switch so they would have to do a lot of work to be able to get game pass to work on the switch and actually have a library of good games but i am almost certain that xbox and nintendo are willing to do that because of one how big the user base of the nintendo switch is and that would open up game pass to a bunch of new customers and two it would open up the possibility for future bethesda games to release on the nintendo switch now it could be that phil spencer only made that statement and directed it kind of towards sony rather than nintendo it could be that xbox blocks playstation from receiving bethesda games and they kind of just give nintendo a pass with most of your bethesda games having to receive a pretty extensive port like doom and doom eternal and skyrim for that matter it could be that microsoft and nintendo work out a deal that would not require them to have game pass on their platform but with nintendo kind of turning a new leaf i really don't see how they would say no to game pass on the platform because of how many new gamers would buy a nintendo switch just to play game pass on that platform you would literally be getting a two for one kind of like the pc on pc you could play steam games as well as xbox games and on the nintendo switch in the future you could potentially play all of your favorite nintendo games as well as halo on the nintendo switch but that is only if microsoft does indeed keep their word with this statement one thing that i will say is you don't acquire a company like zenimax media and not have some sort of exclusivity to potentially gain back from your investment that you previously made now let's talk about the next story that is pretty big that has to do with the nintendo switch console sales i remember i made a video a while ago before the nintendo switch even came out that i said the nintendo switch was going to outsell the wii and it's looking like they're already on track to do that according to the latest npd report 
report the total lifetime dollar sales of the Nintendo Switch hardware now exceed the Nintendo DS, making the Nintendo Switch the second best selling platform in the United States tracked history, with the Nintendo Wii ranking first. The Switch is currently the seventh best selling hardware platform in lifetime US dollar sales. And with the currently planned Nintendo Switch revision or the Switch Pro, it could mean that the Nintendo Switch will officially outrank the Wii very soon. The NPD report goes on to say that Nintendo Switch was the best selling hardware platform in both units and dollars in February. Unit and dollar sales of Nintendo Switch hardware in February were the highest for any hardware platform in a February month since the Nintendo Wii in February 2009. The Nintendo Switch is selling better than ever and I will say right now once again the Nintendo Switch will be the top selling console in Nintendo's history. It's just gonna happen. And I even think the Nintendo Switch has the possibility of outselling the PlayStation 2. It's pretty bold. They might not get there but I do think it's a strong possibility. And with the news of Game Pass potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch, we could be seeing those sales go even crazier pretty soon. I don't think many realize how many people will go out and buy a Nintendo Switch if they could play Halo on it. But I guess we will have to wait and see. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on it. Do you think we're going to get Game Pass on the Switch or do you think the future of Bethesda games are grim for the Nintendo Switch platform? Guys, thank you all once again for watching. This has been Wes and I will talk to you guys on the next video.